Park Min Young's journey to the top is nothing short of extraordinary. The beautiful actress has gone from a down-to-earth start to living the million-dollar dream. So how did this breathtaking thespian evolve from a rookie seeking her groove to a bona fide icon in the making? Park Min Young was born in the bustling streets of Seoul on March 4, 1986. She was like any other regular kid living a simple life in a traditional Korean household. The actress described her childhood as just there, not too exciting. The family did their thing, and she was quietly brewing her love for films and acting. The Game Changer was a wild move to the USA as an exchange student. Park saw it as her golden ticket to master English and soak up all the American vibes. Did she freak out? Probably. Yet she decided to spin every situation into a positive life lesson. After high school graduation, the teenage Park had to choose a college path that would shape her destiny. Being one who had a flair for the dramatic, the young, talented lady dove headfirst into theater studies. Fast forward to 2005, SK Telecom, recognizing Park Min Young's star potential, roped her in for one of their commercials. It was her on-screen debut and she was living for it. The nerves were definitely there, and as for confidence? Well, let's just say it took a bit of a roller coaster ride. Initially grappling with self-doubt, facing the camera for the first time turned out to be the ultimate confidence injection. It was a matter of time before she made her acting debut, and it happened in 2005 when she landed a role in High Kick, a roller coaster of laughs centered around your average Korean family and their hilarious shenanigans. Park took on the role of a school-going stunner, acing the pretty game, but not exactly acing the books. The sitcom was a moderate success in South Korea, and it was the beginning of something monumental that was to arrive. Her acting debut didn't go without the accolades, though, as she walked away with the Best New Actress Award at the NBC Entertainment Awards. She was making waves, one sassy sitcom at a time, and the K-drama scene was just starting to realize it had a new star on its hands. High Kick might not have skyrocketed to mega success, but guess what? It did the trick, putting Park Min Young on the TV producer's radar. Suddenly, the offers for bigger, juicier roles came flooding in. 2007 was a great year for the K-drama scene as it demonstrated Park Min Young's full potential. The actress found herself in the underworld drama in I Am Sam. She portrayed the young daughter of a notorious underworld Don, adding a touch of intrigue to her growing repertoire. The small screen was just a warm-up because in 2008, Park took on a role that was nothing short of legendary. The next assignment was Hometown of Legends, where she transformed into Gumiho, a mythical seven-tailed fox. This wasn't just any other role. It was a full-blown dive into the mystical. The series didn't just showcase her acting prowess. It solidified Park Min Young as the go-to gal for roles that pushed the boundaries of imagination. As the South Korean TV industry rode the wave of historical fiction shows, Min Young found herself right in the sweet spot. The year 2009 marked her venture into the world of period dramas with Jam Myung Go. She played the role of the damsel in distress, but as a villainous princess. The following year, the beautiful actress strapped on her running shoes for Running Goo, a sports drama that had more than just marathon miles on the agenda. Here, she stepped into the shoes of a beautiful girl caught up in a love triangle amidst the pounding of running shoes and the thrill of the race. By 2010, she had earned her stripes as a sought-after TV actress. Yet, there was a lingering desire for that one career-changing role. And it finally happened with Sung Kyung Kwan's scandal, the series that would redefine her career trajectory. In Sung Kyung Kwan's scandal, Park took on the role of a girl donning a disguise as a boy to infiltrate one of the nation's most prestigious educational institutions. And guess what? Lightning struck. Sung Kyung Kwan's scandal wasn't just a success. It was a critical and commercial triumph. Her portrayal earned her not one, not two, but three KBS Drama Awards. In the action-packed year of 2011, Park Min Young took the lead as the female protagonist in City Hunter, a South Korean adaptation of the hit Japanese manga. This series was no ordinary drama as it revolved around a vigilante on a quest for justice, entwined with a love affair with a secret agent. Park, with her undeniable charisma, brought a dynamic edge to the storyline. And as if conquering the small screen wasn't enough, she ventured into the cinematic realm with her film debut in 2011's The Cat, a horror flick with a twist centered around a mother grappling with claustrophobia. Park's performance was a standout, earning her well-deserved accolades. Cat would interestingly mark her solitary appearance in the world of cinema throughout her entire career, as she's yet to feature in another movie since 2011. The corporate world started to take notice of the rising star, and in no time, the major advertising endorsements started rolling in, solidifying her status not only as a stellar actress, but also as a sought-after face for brands. In 2012, 
Park Min Young stepped into the world of time travel with Dr. Jin, another manga adaptation. This time, she embraced a double role, a contemporary woman and a noblewoman from the 1860s. 2014 was a banner year for her. The actress seized back-to-back -back leading roles in major series, showcasing her versatility. First up was A New Leaf, a legal drama where she brought the courtroom to life with her compelling performance. But that was just the beginning. In Healer, Park took on the role of a tenacious reporter, earning her the prestigious Excellence Award at the 2014 KBS Drama Awards. Little did anyone expect that Healer wouldn't just capture hearts domestically. It unexpectedly became a sensation in China, solidifying Park Min Young's status as an international star. In 2015, she made her international debut, stepping onto the global stage with the Chinese series Braveness of the Ming. This period drama, based on the immensely successful novel Silk Nights, marked her foray into international storytelling. Park, ever the chameleon, seamlessly embraced the cultural nuances of the narrative. Meanwhile, back on home turf, she delved into the intricacies of hyperthymesia in the 2015 Korean drama, Remember, War of the Sun. Portraying a character grappling with the ability to remember every life event, she once again demonstrated her knack for tackling diverse roles. The period drama continued in 2017 with Queen for Seven Days, where she immersed herself in a historical tale filled with intrigue and royal drama. In 2018, Park Min Young took a delightful detour into the world of romantic comedy with What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, sharing the screen with Park Seo Joon. The chemistry between the two not only sparked on-screen magic, but also ignited a rating success, catapulting Park's popularity to new heights. Riding this wave, she hosted her inaugural fan meeting titled My Day in October, marking a joyous celebration of her 12-year journey since her debut. The romantic comedy streak continued in 2019 with Her Private Life, where she showcased her versatile acting alongside Kim Jae-wook. The series, filled with laughter and love, added another feather to her cap of diverse roles. In 2020, Park Min Young graced the JTBC screen in When the Weather is Fine, a romance drama co-starring Seo Kang Joon. Amidst the changing seasons, the show unfolded a tale of love, healing, and self-discovery, proving once again that Park's ability to breathe life into nuanced characters was unwavering. With almost a decade in the industry, Park Min Young has done enough to achieve a level of financial prowess that extends beyond her on-screen exploits. Her net worth stands at an impressive $5 million, a testament to her multifaceted career that includes acting, endorsements, and her venture into the world of YouTube. In 2020, she took a plunge into the world of online content creation, launching her channel Just Park Min Young, where she shares glimpses of her life beyond the glitz and glamour of showbiz. It's not just a platform for fans, it's a personal window into her world. Despite the ability to indulge in the finest luxuries, Park Min Young has chosen a more meaningful path, Beyond designer bags and lavish vacations, she has quietly dedicated a portion of her wealth to philanthropy. The 37-year-old actress has been secretly supporting various organizations, making a positive impact beyond the silver screen.